Welcome back to our channel, Fitness Food Recipes. Today we debunk seven myths about the keto diet that you should stop believing. The ketogenic diet has grown in popularity as a weight loss strategy, but with its rise, a myriad of misconceptions have surfaced. From the role of ketosis in fat burning to the perceived risks of keto cycling, these myths can cloud our understanding of this diet, but fear not, we're here to clear the fog and bring you the science-backed facts. Ready to debunk some keto myths? Let's dive right in. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Myth 1. You must be in ketosis to burn fat. This is a common misconception. Now, let's get a little bit sciencey here. Ketosis is a metabolic state where your body uses fat instead of carbohydrates for fuel. This happens when you consume a low-carb diet, forcing your body to switch its fuel source. But here's the kicker. You don't necessarily need to be in ketosis to burn fat. According to a study published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition, our bodies can metabolize fat for energy during exercise, even when carbohydrates are available. This is because fat, believe it or not, is a more efficient fuel source than carbs. Yes, ketosis can enhance fat burning, but it's not the only way. Your body is a complex machine that can adapt and use different fuel sources based on what's available. So don't be fooled into thinking ketosis is the only route to your fat burning goals. So the truth is ketosis can help, but it's not the only way to burn fat. Myth two, keto cycling is risky. Keto cycling, also known as cyclical ketogenic diet, involves alternating periods of ketogenic dieting with periods of high carb intake. This cycling can provide a more flexible approach to the ketogenic diet and has potential benefits such as improved athletic performance, better hormone regulation, and increased dietary variety. Now, some might argue that this approach is risky. However, scientific studies paint a different picture. According to a research published in the journal Nutrients, keto cycling, when done properly, doesn't pose significant health risks. The key here is done properly. That means during your high-carb days, you're not binging on junk food, but consuming healthy, nutrient-dense carbohydrates. It's also crucial to note that everyone's body responds differently, so what works for one person may not work for another. Therefore, it's always recommended to consult with a dietitian before starting any new diet regimen. In conclusion, keto cycling can be a beneficial and flexible approach when done correctly. Myth 3. Everyone on a keto diet needs the same carb intake. This is simply not true. Our bodies and nutritional needs are as unique as our fingerprints, and this applies to our carbohydrate intake as well. Think about it. A professional athlete and a sedentary office worker have vastly different energy needs. It's only logical that their carb requirements would differ too, right? Even factors like age, gender, and genetic makeup can influence how much carbohydrates one needs. Moreover, the key to a successful keto diet isn't just about slashing carbs, but about finding the right balance that works for your body. This balance is achieved by considering your individual lifestyle, health goals, and how your body responds to different levels of carbohydrate intake. So, if you're considering a keto diet, it's crucial to consult with a dietitian. They can help you determine your unique carb needs, ensuring you get the most out of your diet while staying healthy. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to diet. Myth 4. The keto diet causes constipation. Now, it's true that some folks on the keto diet may experience constipation. This is often due to a lack of fiber in the diet, as many high-fiber foods are also high in carbohydrates. But let's clear the air. Constipation is not a given with the ketogenic diet. You see, the key to avoiding constipation while on keto lies in two main areas, proper hydration and the consumption of fibrous vegetables. Drinking enough water is essential to keep things moving, so to speak. Water aids digestion and prevents the hardening of stools, a common cause of constipation. On the other hand, consuming fibrous vegetables can add much-needed bulk to your diet, despite being low in carbs. Vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, and spinach are all keto-friendly and packed with fiber. So, while the change in diet may initially lead to digestive changes, these can be managed and usually subside over time. So with the right approach, keto does not have to lead to constipation. Myth 5. On keto, you can eat all the fats you want. Now, this might sound like a dream come true for many, but it's a misconception. 
Yes, the ketogenic diet is high in fats, but it's not an open invitation to indulge in all types of fats. The quality of fats you consume matters a great deal. While it's tempting to reach for butter-soaked bacon or cheese-loaded burgers, it's crucial to prioritize healthier, unsaturated fats. These can be found in foods like avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil. Saturated fats found in most fast foods and processed goods can increase cholesterol levels and lead to heart disease. On the other hand, unsaturated fats can help reduce bad cholesterol and provide essential fats your body needs but can't produce itself. So, while the keto diet does include a higher fat intake, it's not about eating any and every kind of fat. It's about making smart choices and selecting the right kind of fats. So it's not about eating all the fats, but the right kind of fats. Myth six, the keto diet is for everyone. Now, this is a common misconception that needs a bit of debunking. While the ketogenic diet has seen a surge in popularity due to its potential benefits, it's not a one size fits all solution. Certain individuals, especially those with specific health conditions, may not find this diet suitable. For instance, people with pancreatitis, liver failure, disorders of fat metabolism, certain mitochondrial disorders, and those who have had their gallbladder removed may not be able to process the high fat content of a ketogenic diet. Furthermore, individuals with type 1 diabetes should approach this diet with caution due to the risk of ketoacidosis. The ketogenic diet is not just about cutting carbs and increasing fat intake, it's a significant lifestyle change that can impact various aspects of your health. Therefore, it's of utmost importance to consult with a healthcare professional or dietitian before embarking on this dietary journey. They can provide individualized advice considering your health history, lifestyle, and personal goals. So, remember it's essential to tailor your diet to your individual health needs. Our final myth, the keto diet is a sustainable long-term solution. While the ketogenic diet can indeed lead to significant weight loss, it's often difficult to adhere to for the long haul. The restrictions on carbohydrate intake can be challenging to maintain, especially in social situations. Furthermore, the diet may not be suitable for everyone, particularly those with certain health conditions. A sustainable eating plan is one that can be maintained indefinitely, providing not just weight loss but overall health. So while keto can be effective, it's not necessarily a lifelong diet plan. And, and there we have it, seven keto myths debunked. We've journeyed through the science behind the ketogenic diet, cutting through misconceptions to reveal the truth. Remember, your body's fuel, whether it's cycling through keto or moderating your carb intake, should be tailored to your individual needs. It's not about quick fixes, but sustainable, healthy choices. Found this video useful? Leave a comment below and don't forget to check out our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart your fitness journey. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to try our 30 days sugar detox plan, watch the video on your screen next. Thank you for watching.